Very good. Thank you, Jeff. You got it. A couple things we want to touch base on, if we could. If we can go to a, a two-shot, I know Ian's going to adjust that for a minute. Um, there are several media organizations, in fact, I'm counting two thus far, that are actually reporting the suspect's name. Mm -hmm. I can tell you right now, that name has not been confirmed by Colorado Springs Police. In fact, Springs Police has just tweeted out that, in fact, the suspect's name has not been confirmed and will not be confirmed tonight. A number of things have been going on all day long, and quite frankly, I'm, I'm getting a little bit irritated by it. There are media organizations that are acting irresponsibly, and I can tell you right now, Fox 21 News is not going to take part in any of this garbage. And it's actually become frustrating because what happens is, is we're all lumped together as members of the media. And so when an organization does something irresponsible like this, we all get lumped in. But I can tell you, I'm going to make that division right now. We are not lumped into that. We are not going to report erroneous facts. It's been blowing up on Twitter all day. A number of organizations were attacked for releasing information that was never confirmed. In fact, some tweets out there actually had the word unconfirmed in them. This is uh, irresponsible journalism, and I'm actually getting quite fed up with it, and it's really sad. Now, this is a commentary by me, but you know what? I'm the news director at Fox 21. I do not allow any members of this staff to report information unless it's confirmed from a source. And here's a great example. We knew that the UCCS police officer uh, was killed hours before we reported it. And let me tell you, Abby Burke has a lot of sources with the Colorado Springs Police Department, and one of her sources was giving us information. We did not report it because they wouldn't confirm it. And it's, it's difficult and it's hard in these situations because you want to put the information out there, but you also, you don't want to put the police and the law enforcement in any kind of danger by releasing information they don't want out there. And also, you... Sources, even sources can get information incorrect because it's an active situation and things are evolving and information changes. So we wanted to make sure that these things were officially confirmed and that we were able to release that information without jeopardizing the situation, which was obviously still actively happening. And I'll tell you what, there's often a race to be first, but I'll tell you what, if you're first and you're wrong, you jeopardize your credibility. Here at Fox 21, we may be the last station to report something, but I would rather be last and correct and right rather than first and wrong and jeopardize our credibility. So I'll get off the soapbox now, but I will tell you, you'll see reports out there about the suspect's name. That is not being confirmed by Colorado Springs Police. So until that is confirmed by Colorado Springs Police, you won't see it on this broadcast or any of our Fox 21 News properties. And the police made it very clear in their, in their tweet that they are not going to be releasing that name tonight. We do know that the suspect is in custody, and they obviously probably know who that person is, but they're not ready to release that information, so we're not going to release it in either until we're confirmed. Very good. We're back after the break. Stay with us.